I often get asked how to play extreme speed Lucario. I got that new beautiful Lucario Hollowware, so I figured I'd show an extreme speed build. Attack weight, score shield, razor claw with a full heal. That razor claw is gonna combo really well with the extreme speed. It's always kind of bouncing you around, and if you keep it uh, with that cooldown not being uh, triggered, you will get to use your razor claw a ton. So it's a really cool combo. Another few options here, of course, you could drop a razor claw and use something like a focus band muscle band is also very good for this or a buddy barrier i like razor claw i think it's super fun we're gonna head into the top path see how many times we can stack hopefully six stacks on this and i'll tell you a little bit about extreme speed lucario while we are doing it hi by the way everyone jake your resident content cowboy here yeehaw and i want to hear from you in the comments what is a pokemon that you like to play where you play a build that is not what people would consider the best build for that pokemon Come on. For me, with Lucario, I love Lucario. I love Power Up Punch Close Combat Lucario. So I recognize a lot of people love Extreme Speed and think it's currently the best build. I'm still a big Power Up Punch guy. All right, let me know your answer in the comments. Let's head to the top path here. Uh, what is going on? Okay, we got Mammo. I believe Pika was the one who called it, but fair enough. Here we go. Getting a little bit of this. And running over here so that we can score. All right. That's a stack. Got our first stack right here. Oh, by the way, we have our handy dandy stack counter here. So once we get a stack, we will hear that's a stack. Got that. Hoopa is not going to be able to stop us from scoring that's here. That's a stack. We got two points in. Oh, we might actually help with this fight. Oh, just missed it. Dang. Lucky. Very lucky there, Nine Tails. Just miss helping with that KO here. Got that. Ninetales is coming to try to stop us. He's right here. Oh, he was. He backed pretty fast. I might I might be able to get something here. Is their jungler? Their jungler's bottom, so we can try to score here. This is a little dangerous. That's a stack. It might get us KO'd. We're gonna have to find out. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Little bold. Maybe too bold. Now I have to back out. <laughs> I'm gonna get KO'd. I have no berries. Dang. Probably not worth it because we weren't able to really contest the bees there. So I wanted to get my stack in, but at the same time, you know, at what cost? At what cost, Jake? Mammal Swine says, let's split up for now. Ooh, I was able to get that one though. And I've got my extreme speed here. Oh, if I can get close to that nine tails, it's on. Oh, I almost got him there. You saw me bounce around. I still have a, a one extreme speed. Dang, I didn't even realize I had it because I hit that wild Pokemon, so I still had it not on cooldown. If you were able to hit something that has that little blue circle around it, that's your extreme speed indicator right there. That lets you know that if you hit that with extreme speed, you will get your extreme speed reset. So if you're able to do that throughout a big team fight, you can bounce around and hit tons of enemies. It's really awesome. I might not be able to score here. This is a lot of points to actually put in. We'll see. Wow. That's a stack. That feels pretty lucky. We got our Bone Rush here. Bone Rush also resets our extreme speed. So you can see those blue circles came back because I did hit those enemies with a Bone Rush. And now I'm going to try to score again. This one's also going to be really tough. He's only attacking me here. That's a stack. Got it. Very nice. We're at five stacks. I'm going to try to get one final one if I can. I just got one point I'm going to put in. Just one last one. That's a stack. And now you can see Extreme Speed works extremely well against bees. You can kind of just fly through the whole thing, hitting everyone there. I can hit Hoopa. Oops. That was a snapback, actually. I did not intend to do that. I just flicked my stick the wrong way. Oops. All right. I'm going to try to take this. I'm going to head towards the bottom path here. I'm going to use my Extreme Speed to just bounce around and get my way there as quickly as I can. This is gone. Azumarill's here. Greninja. All right, oop. We get that. Greninja's here, a high level Greninja too. Not nine yet though. Ooh, big. Ooh, this is great. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, good job everybody. I'm gonna try to score really quick. They don't have a jump pad, so they can't land on my head. We just kind of ran in there once I saw my team was attacking. Big scores right there. Running out of there. I might get KO'd for what I'm doing here. I'm gonna use my full heal so that uh, I can't get slowed down there by that Ninetales. 
and their mean, mean ice moves. Heading to the top path now. Let's see if I can make it there in time to help my team. I would like to get this core fish and take it down on my way. That Rotom is low, really low. Throwing my Unite on it. I got, I got, I threw it late. My, one of my allies got it though, so that's awesome. I'm gonna see if I can break this real quick. I did break it, so that means our Rotom's pushing. And every time I hit an enemy with extreme speed and then keep going, uh, ooh, a few more scores here. We're already at six stacks. I already got my stacks early, but this is a great, look at this. Look at what we could do with extreme speed. Ah, if I was just, if I had my extreme speed just a hair earlier, if I wouldn't have accidentally missed it going the other way, we can clean up that whole fight right there. You just bounce around to each enemy using extreme speed. It's really cool. And then once the extreme speed cooldown's gone again, you hit them with bone rush and it refills those blue circles around all your enemies. And if you use it right, you can just bounce around a whole fight Reset it all, bounce around again. It's pretty amazing. It's a really, really cool move set. It's super fun for these fights. We got two, three coming down here. I gotta back out a little bit. Oh, actually, this is a double KO for us. Nice. Nice. Pretty good for us right there. As soon as I saw their health was that low, I knew my resets on them would do a ton of damage and it was time to fight. Uh, full health, I don't want to deal with them in that moment, but with their health that low, I don't really mind it. Oops, I should have used my full heal earlier. This might get me KO'd. I'm gonna throw my Unite again. Let's try to do some damage. Get in there, my extreme speed. Oh, I missed! I missed my extreme speed in that fight. Dang it. I thought I hit it, but I went right into that wall. Bummer. Had I hit my extreme speed, that's another moment where you just kind of bounce around a whole bunch here. So we're fighting pretty well so far, but we're missing a few of them. And that just goes to show my rust with this moveset, you know? I, I really like this moveset, but again, I play more power up punch. So I'm not as used to, you know, the limits of it. Definitely, if it's a build you want to play, you want to get good at resetting your extreme speeds for sure. Heading up to the top here so we can fight at Rotom. The enemy is rotating up here, it looks like. Looks like they're not here, though, so we're going to be able to take that. Ooh, Greninja throws a Unite move, and we don't even have to deal with that. We can just kind of wait for a second. Got my full heal. Throwing my Bone Rush here. Just using my extreme speeds throughout this fight as many as I can. As many resets as I can get here. I got a bunch of them. We got a few. I missed a couple there. And again, that just shows, once again, just like, I'm not insanely used to this build. I use it from time to time, but I'm mainly a power-up punch guy. So it's a little harder in some of those fights, but we're doing pretty well with it so far. We've got our level 14 now. So what that means, uh, 13 actually is where we get our next power spike. Let me show you what 13 does. So you use your extreme speed. Let's say you throw a bone rush at anything and then, uh, you know, use your ability to rush to the bone. <laughs> I guess that's what it would be called. It resets your extreme speed like that. It's an awesome upgrade for your move. Let's see. Blue buff. Looks like Venusaur wants it. Venusaur is pretty good with that, especially given that it's a solar beam, you know? If it can steal zap, if the enemy's trying to take it, I'm all for it, right? Azumarill's here. This could be a good catch before the final battle here. It goes down. Ninetales is there. It could use the launch pad here. It could come over. Slowbro could too. Let's see if anyone's on it. You could actually see the launch pad activate before you know what Pokemon's coming over, but it doesn't look like they're using it here. Slowbro coming in through the center, backing off. We don't need to uh, take Zap here. We just want to be cautious. We want to win this fight. Just throw a Unite move here. There's a few of them right here. Do some damage. Got one. Oh, I missed. I missed my extreme speed on this slow bro here. Ooh, part of the fight's back. I'm gonna try to get out. 
Ooh, Eldegoss is leaving. Everybody's leaving. I don't want them to just full rip it, but if everyone's leaving to reset and get health, I need to as well. I'm level 15, so I've got a lot of health, but at the same time, you know, if I get KO'd, my timer is going to be massive. All we want to do right here is just stop them from getting this. That's a good KO for us. Pulling out of that fight. Another good KO. Ninetales is here. Oof, oof, I go down. Dang, dang, that was too, was too bold. I thought maybe we we're going in a little harder. That was my mistake. Too bold for me. Greninja's on it. We need to steal this. Ah, wow. He got it. Venusaur got it. Nice job. You didn't even see it because he was fired it from that solar beam and sometimes you don't see it. Why would we surrender? What are you talking about? I think someone was confused. <laughs> <laughs> you would never surrender there. We're definitely going to win. What was that? I ah, might as well give it up. Snipe zap. Forget it. GG. So there you go. That's a little uh, bit of that extreme speed Lucario again. Uh, my rust is probably showing a bit while I play it, but you understand the sort of the flow of it. You're bouncing around between enemies, resetting your extreme speeds, then using Bone Rush so that you can do it once again. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. I love you.